Good morning. Good mid-morning. Two media hits down. This is media day. We have four media hits. Yahoo, Bloomberg, Spit and Chicklets podcast, Baltimore Sun. So I'm going to get us jamming with one of my favorite smoothies. And luckily for you, you're going to get some. Oh, let's go. Here are the ingredients. Bot. All right, some good berries. We're just gonna go all of them. Some almond butter. It's not an exact science. And the chef reaps the spoils. Some granola. Fistful of spinach. If you're an athlete, you know what I'm talking about. Shake me well, some oatly. Halfway. A couple of scoops of protein. This is vegan protein. It's called Momentous is the brand. For those of you that asked from our Instagram channel a month or so ago. And then fresh Utah water. There we have that. And. That's it. I love the, the brown look. It means that it's healthy. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. One, when we set out and built the league, we knew that it would be paramount that we capture a network deal, which we talked about in the previous segment with NBC. And that two, when you think about commercialization and even just kind of like the ability to capture net new fans, it comes down to sports betting. We've seen it in Europe for decades. I'm trying to figure out if I actually want to shave my chest now. I think you want to. I know, actually. I well, want my chest hair. It makes me feel myself. But the thing about chest hair is it will grow back. Yeah. I need to trim because like my mustache is, I'm, I'm, pro, I'm definitely gonna, I feel like I'm gonna shave a mustache once the tournament starts. I don't know, I definitely have to upkeep this because it's super long. And then uh, I also have clippers, so you're gonna cut my hair today. So here's the Manscaped. We have actually like great stuff for Manscaped. We have cologne for B-Rob because he's never used cologne before. I'm gonna weed whack my nose. I'm gonna clip my Atlas Blue toenails and we're gonna do some trimming. What for those that don't know like how this came about, we jumped in on that Twitter virality moment where you comment, retweet, or like something you want to happen. Because all of you all comment often like, shave your chest hair when I uh, work out without a shirt. We did, uh, I'll just show you the picture. This though is um, hair and body wash. Throw it in the shower. Okay. Is this smell it? it? smells pretty good. This is how I put on cologne. Wanna get some? That was my first time. Really? Yeah, yeah, go. A weed whacker. What do I do? Just oh, great! It's kind of kind of lit. <laughs> okay, let me show you the picture. Actually, I can't show you from my Twitter account. I'm gonna show you from the PLS Twitter account because I got locked out in that hack yesterday. I guess the hackers were trying to sell Bitcoin through my account too. Like I, I, I haven't accessed my Twitter in 18 hours, and we just announced a DraftKings partnership for sports betting. Put out a vlog yesterday. Do all this other stuff I want to talk about. I can't talk about it. So anyway. It is. I said, go crazy. All right, so either delete my beard would be a retweet. That only got six. Cancel chest, got 178 likes. And then other was comment, and there were 24 comments. So that means um, Twitter wanted me to shave my chest. But Instagram, a lot of comments. Mike said chest hair forever with the Lebanese flag. Mick said chest hair removal only on NBC Gold. Go full Dennis Rodman on them. Will Yoder said all of the above. Liz said cancel culture really has taken away all my favorite things. Manscaped. Looks like you missed an important spot. Hit us up. We might be able to help. You know what they're referring to? My crotch? Yeah. Uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> look at this. A little blood. All these cleats I've been banging around on. I uh, need to clip my toenails. This probably isn't attractive no, for I'm the vlog, it's but vlog. because this is... Yeah, also a manscape, so they're really helping me groom all around. My toes are also really cold right now, which isn't ideal when you're trimming your toenails. There we are. Look at that, those bad boys. We're gonna move fast again. So they sent us two. I think one is for you, oh. and this is my first time going in. This is quite pleasant. Pretty fantastic. Oh, the Manscaped Daily. 
We save balls. Okay, guys. That's like a mat for cleaning up the hair. Here we are. We'll use it outside when you cut my hair too. The lawnmower. This thing looks fantastic. Oh. You know, I trim my own beard regularly. This is a charger. Landscaped underwear. Always in need of underwear when you're on the road for a month. Here we go, deodorant. It looks like a ball toner. You can put those on the other crossballs. That's right. Oh, this has an adjustable blade. So what I'd like to do is just start with my beard and then we'll see where we go from there. Oh my God. There's you a forgot, lot of hair. You forgot to take off your sweater. Oh, funny. You read that in the comment section? Tip for those that shave their beard, I learned this. You should shave down. That way it doesn't pull it all the way up if you underestimated the cut. Let's get underneath. Yeah, that's, it's pretty low. How about that touch? How does the razor feel? It's really good. Try and get a little bit more up there, it tightens it up. Wow, it's been four months since I've done this. Trimmed your beard? No, since I've touched my hair. Yeah. Let me just go raw real quick and clean my neck. Oh, that does feel clean, no biting. Skin safe technology right there. There you go, man. For the stash, I comb it down. Just go in there right above the lip. All right. So, what do you think? It looks good. If you give me a really good haircut, that'd be fantastic. Now, for my uh, chest. Oh, we need a picture. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You're not gonna do your chest. Everyone on Instagram wants me to keep the chest. Yeah, but Twitter. We just let it rip. It's your body. All right, I've made a decision. We uh, just, in the intermission though, Brett and I took photos uh, for Instagram. And um, yeah, now I've decided that the number one comment from my Instagram feed was actually from my cousin, Drew Rabel. He said, go full Dennis Rodman on them. So as Brett and I were discussing this, what would Dennis Rodman do? Probably the most off the wall thing. And no, not shave my chest. No, not shave my beard. Let's just, Shave my stomach. Oh my God. That way I can selfishly keep my chest hair and I don't have to completely back out, which a lot of people did say, hey, none of the above do something different. So I think we should just go up. Oh my God, it's happening. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of cool, it looks like the bull one. Should we just call it? <laughs> it's good. Go bulls. Well, it's, it's done. I mean, are, am I, are you kidding me? That's the horn. I mean, I could kind of make it more of a horn here. Get it a bit thicker up top. There we go. Tighten it up downstairs. And then we have the horn just like the side of our helmet. I kind of dig it. I mean, you know, I feel pretty decent. There we go. Now we can really say horns up. Well done. Do you think that's good enough, just personally? Uh, well, off the record, I, I feel like you're, you're gonna shave the rest, right? No, I wasn't planning on it. I thought this was a joke. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it was, and then I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. All right, well, I think it's <laughs> on brand. It's very on brand. And it was also part of one of the options, which was comment for something else. People were thinking mohawk, I was always thinking horn. Now. Brett, um, let's go cut my hair. Oh, and this is my room, by the way. Have my clothes over there, ready to go for camp. My sticks, I keep them in my bedroom versus outside for all you guys out there that want to know where I keep my sticks, right in front of me so I can look at them when I wake up. These are our jerseys. You saw the jersey release. Just did laundry, books, thermometer. This is bots. Let's roll. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know, what are we talking about? Have you ever seen a work of art like this? Go <laughs> Bulls. These are brand new hair cutting scissors. They're ready. Here's what I really want to fix. Um, this Bob Ross action, um, I think we'll keep the length on the top. Let's just start by eliminating 
the length on the side. And I think what we can actually do is start by trimming some of this down. Okay. So I can blend my sideburn, because right now I can't. <laughs> oh, I just don't do that. Oh, it can't look much worse than this, so. It's comforting. Uh, actually, what just happened? Hold on a second. We just have to make sure it doesn't turn into a mullet. So you've got to get this is like really thick. Whoa. You see what I'm saying? I'm doing this because I'm going to be on NBC. Oh, what was that? I like keeping the back for all everyone there. I mean, we work on the back for the helmet so you can see the horn. I'm really starting to sweat. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, no, it feels pretty decent. Wow. Look at even how I was trying to get layers. Look at this, how it comes straight out, Brett. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yep. That was a 100 mile an hour shot. Wow. Brett, I think we're uh, where we want to be. That's it. I got some waves in there, got some layers. I really did the whole thing. I'm super proud of you, man. I was nervous. Should we just shut the vlog down? That's it, that should just be the vlog for the day. You guys don't wanna see me shoot again, do you? I'm gonna shoot later, but enough of shooting. That's it. Go Bulls.